Hey there, saints. This is Brother Brian. Welcome back to Love Has a Name channel. Uh, this video is actually unexpected because it has been just so busy. It is kind of late. I know yesterday I released a powerful, powerful video, although rather late. Um, and so it seems like tonight will be a repeat. This will be premiering, so most likely uh, you all are in the chat already. <clears throat> Don't know if I will be available to be on the chat. I tried to uh, try to be as much as possible, but I uh, got a lot going on and there are some things that are quite important that I still haven't been able to get to on a personal level. Um, and time, time is of the essence, but I appreciate your prayers, your uh, the grace that you're asking the Lord on my behalf, as well as myself asking the Lord for a supernatural grace, abundant grace every day. And so uh, we're going to do something very cool. <clears throat> I was looking through my uh, dream journal from 2021 and wow 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 you are going to be pretty amazed because god is going to amaze you just as he is amazing me as i'm looking back to see what it was that he was showing me around this time last year <coughs> um there's so much i want to go through you know all in this one video but uh, i also have to think of you know the title i can't really um explain every different vision and dream and, and put it all in a title right to you know I need to condense it, so I'm going to try to limit it. And so today we're just going to go through, um, <clears throat> let's see, one, two, three visions that I had last year, September 10th, 2021. Today, in actuality, is September 14th, 2022. So this is one year and four days ago. We're going to do a recap of visions and the Lord does give um a hint at something he has to say about october and so as we are revisiting this i think it is <clears throat> something we can actually look to see that god may be may have been speaking about october from even a year ago in reference to the october 2022 that we are going to very soon enter into amen so let us pray and then i'll share with you i'm even going to show you some pictures uh hopefully there'll be enough lighting for you to see some of the drawings all right lord thank you for everything that you show us thank you for revealing your heart your mind and your will to your prophets to your servants that you have anointed prophetically and to those father who are seeking you and you are faithful and just even to reveal things to them. No title necessary, just a heart that loves you, that seeks you, that chooses to have faith, to believe, and not place you in a box. Thank you, Lord, for all you're doing for us. Thank you, Lord, that these are glory days and not gloomy days. Glorious for us, your people, and gloomy for the wicked. We give you praise and glory, and we invite you, guest of honor, Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit. You are welcome here in this place. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. And amen. All right, so uh, three visions and a, well, I guess four visions, and a word that I heard the Lord speak in the Spirit. So I'm just going to start from top to bottom. Um, actually, I'm going to start with the second one here first, and then I'll show you the picture as well. So once again, this is from September 10th, last year, 2021. So in the morning, approximately 6.30 a.m., I had a vision, and I saw what appeared to be a large explosion in a city. I saw this scene not from an aerial view, from the top down directly, and not from the side, but from an angled aerial view, okay? So as if you're looking down at about a 45 degree angle or so. So my eyes were, were um, allowed to see a large city and a large explosion occur. And the large explosion created what appeared to be a mushroom cloud. Okay, that's vision one. Number two. This is around 7 a.m. I heard 
in the spirit, the Lord say, October fire. Next, after I heard that, I see blue lightning strike down into a city. Now, the interesting thing is, these are four separate visions, but very similar. Okay, so more on that a little bit later. Let me show you the picture and the, the writing. You can always pause it if you want to get a, a, a better look. All right, so this right here is like an angled of different buildings in a city. The mushroom cloud I saw, this describes it. And then up here is what I heard, October fire, okay? Now, interesting because when I saw blue lightning strike, I specifically remember uh, watching an episode of Cat Kerr. I don't know if it was around the same time, uh, but definitely bef before that, when she spoke about the blue lightning of God, how it comes out of him. And so I thought that was very interesting in how it applied here. All right, the next vision. <clears throat> what I see is an up close face of an eagle flying high above. And this eagle was looking and observing down below as this eagle approached a city. There was a city that seemed to wrap around what appeared to be like a lake. The, cit the city seemed to wrap around the lake almost like in a shoehorn shape, okay? Um, about 270 degrees, okay? And there seemed to be an enormous, enormous arc of Baal, or arc of, arc of Baal, however you wanna say. A, a huge, enormous arc of Baal that was in the city, way higher than the other buildings. I sensed that this arc that I was seeing was spiritual, not literal, even though there are many uh, literal ones, um, such as in France and New York City, etc. Okay, so I see this enormous arc of Baal, and then I see all of a sudden lightning come out of heaven, and the, I knew it was the lightning of God, strike the arc of Baal down and it absolutely destroyed it. As I watched, I believed that the eagle symbolized the prophets and their prophetic high perspective. The Lord was allowing them to see from above spiritually what was happening or what is to come. Okay? Now, I cannot say which city this was, but it was something uh, similar to how it looks like around the Great Lakes, somewhere like Michigan uh, and so forth, all right? So let me show you the picture of that. The picture of that is right, right over here. So let me see if I can, I didn't practice holding this up. And there you go. So you see, these are like little buildings. I just drew little buildings for reference. And I saw this huge arc. And then you had the city here, and it kind of went up to 70 degrees. And behind here was like water. All right? Now, there's, there's no telling what city that was, but it kind of looked like it was, as I said, around the area of the Great Lakes uh, or whatnot. So who knows? In Illinois, Indiana, or it could just be something in the spiritual realm that was not literal. All right, and lastly... Uh, the last vision I saw was an American eagle, and this this eagle was flying towards me. So I was literally seeing it come towards me this way, uh, and if it was you, it would be coming to you like this, okay? And it would have had the wings out like this, and this eagle had its wings spread out, completely spread out, and it, I just knew it was flying over the United States of America. In its talons or in its claws it carried a large American 
flag. So I'm going to show you the little picture I drew there, and that's pretty much um, what I saw. All right, so. And there you go. <coughs> so these visions all occurred that same morning as I was in and out of sleep. Interesting, <clears throat> we see a common, uh, a couple of common elements in the dream. We have, in two of the visions, an eagle. Uh, I believe in the last vision, the eagle symbolizes America, the freedom. <clears throat> I believe in the third vision, where I, where it showed the, the eagle, his face flying high above and then looking down and seeing the Ark of Baal and God's lightning strike destroy it. That eagle, <coughs> in that vision, I believe, symbolized the prophets. Okay, so you see, it depends on the context in terms of the meaning. I believe the Ark of Baal that the Lord is speaking of is symbolic of strongholds <coughs> over cities being destroyed supernaturally by God. In the Bible, it talks about in the book of Job and in the book of Psalms, the lightning of God comes from his fists, from his hands. And that lightning strikes where the Lord intends. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see. So we have uh, an eagle connecting both uh, two visions. And then we have Three of these visions had to do with the city. The one where I heard October fire, and then I saw blue lightning strike down in a city. I just, I didn't, you know, draw the picture. It was just so quick. I was just aware that it was striking down a city. So we have a city mentioned in the first vision. <clears throat> in the second one, I saw a an angled aerial view. And then on the third one, I saw the Ark of Baal. So we have a city um, as an element overlapping three different visions. Then we have lightning mentioned in two of the other visions and of course october fire <clears throat> now the lord has been giving me uh, in 2021 he began to give me specific words for the months of july august september october and november now in december i didn't get one i believe it's because at that time my original channel was attacked and terminated that was weighing very heavily on my heart I was very upset because it was unjust. Um, and of course, YouTube didn't uh, seem to care. They just seemed to ignore. Very unjust. But praise the Lord, in less time, this channel has surpassed. And I did it the way the Lord showed me to do it. And I changed everything. And um, so be it. The Lord has been glorified. And he's surpassing what was from before. So praise God. Um, and so in July, the Lord gave me the prophetic word results for last July. Many of you already know those words manifested in, in certain layers last year, but this year the Lord was bringing it back to mind and placing it, impressing it strongly on my heart that these words would manifest in their greater fulfillment this year. And we have seen that and I've shared that this stuff all over telegram. Okay. So results was the word for July. Yes, August was explosive, and we had a lot of confirmation with even Julie Green was getting a lot of prophetic words with the word explosive. Again, the Lord gave me that word last year, and Julie Green was getting a lot of the a lot of this uh, word being used in her prophetic words this year. So awesome, awesome confirmations. There was at least five of them. And then the word for September, which last year did apply um, in terms of the the enemies of the Lord. Um, and certain setbacks they were having that was catastrophic for them. Well, the word this year is catastrophic for September. Now, we're halfway through September. It's September 14th as of this video. And the enemy, yes, the enemy, everything is backfiring. Now, we haven't yet seen uh, catastrophic uh, or catastrophes in the United States. But just as some of you on Telegram have shared with me, it has been on in the news four to five times across the world in different 
ways. Even that's even some of uh, one of 46's speech, you know, the one who thinks he's president, even one of his, one of the, um, one of, a newspaper described one of his speeches as catastrophic. So God knew, God said it, and God chooses how to fulfill it. Uh, someone like myself can only speculate if the Lord doesn't tell me specifically, but I'm very clear in letting you all, letting you all know when I'm just giving my thoughts. And I make a very clear distinction from this is what the Lord is saying and this is what I think. Very clear. Okay, I, I don't play around with that. Uh, I don't use deception or have to pretend because I don't really care whether anyone thinks. I need to honor the Lord and be a person of integrity and be genuine unto Him because it's every day that He is, that I'm aware He's watching me, He's listening, He's looking in my heart, my thoughts and everything. So. I'm answering to him and I'm very well aware of that. So um, that's that. And so the word the Lord gave for last month, uh, last year, which now you know for October is October fire. <clears throat> now last year when I said it, I thought to myself, I said, Lord, that's two words, October fire. And I'm thinking you only, of the few months that you gave me, every month had one word, but October fire, it was as if I heard it as two, October fire. So all of a sudden, as I'm reading this to you just a few minutes ago, I literally thought to myself, I wonder if there was a comma in what I heard. In what I, heard. I wonder if the Lord was saying October, comma, fire. So I don't know, but that's the thought that's coming to me. So it could be that the actual word for October is fire. Now, that's just my thoughts. Um, if, if we're following the pattern, if the Lord rather is following the pattern, then it would be fire. But for now, until he confirms it, it's going to be October fire. All right. So that could mean a whole bunch of different things. It could be natural fires that we may see like rioting, uh, like protests. It could be fires such as more forest fires. And most of those are being done on purpose. And it could be fires from explosions. It could be, and we sure would hope that it would be a mighty manifestation of God's Holy Spirit fire. That would be awesome. That would be fiery and tremendous. So Father, I'm just giving you some ideas if you wanna have, you know, have some Holy Ghost fire just all throughout the earth, please do so but only the Lord knows how he's going to fulfill it. All right. <clears throat> so pretty much uh, that is all I'm going to share for this video. I do have some other stuff I can share. Probably better to do it in another video. Uh, that way the I can just be descriptive and accurate in my title without making it way too long. All right. So it looks like I'm going to have a prophetic word recap very, very soon around the 16th, which is in two days. I don't know if I have it exactly on that day, but just giving you a heads up. And, oh man. And I got to share with you all also for September 24th, last year, the vision that the Lord gave me. Quite, quite interesting. Especially because we've been hearing about this date more and more. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that <clears throat> keep it nice and short i bless you all i thank you for your prayers hopefully tomorrow and friday will be a slow day at work it's been really 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 busy but anyway we'll get through it we are 10 days away from the 24th god is emphasizing this uh, one of my telegram subscribers told me that her neighbor shared a dream that she had and in the dream, that neighbor was telling her husband, now this neighbor is a patriot and a believer. I don't know if it's holy, if she's Holy Spirit filled, <clears throat> but that neighbor is a patriot and believer and shared a dream with my uh, Telegram subscriber that she had, where in the dream, this woman, the neighbor, was speaking to her husband and telling her husband that the stock market was going to crash or had crashed one or the other. I can't remember on September 24th. 
Now, I don't know that neighbor. I don't even think that neighbor knows of this channel. She just knows the person who's on my Telegram who subscribed to the YouTube channel here. <coughs> so God is, God is pointing. There are signs pointing, but God is not has not told me specifically what it is that's going to happen. <clears throat> so I know that there was well, like one person there. It doesn't even bother me. I'm just, it, it's a joke. So I'm just going to say it that someone there said, okay, well, I'll be back on <clears throat> September 26th and ju just to see if it happens. Well, first of all, you got the date wrong. Second of all, you're mocking to your own harm. You do not know. <clears throat> How tightly and how close and how precious are God's prophets and prophetic voices who step out on a limb by faith to decree and declare and share and speak and say what God is saying to them to please him and not the people. And some people have no fear of God. But anyway. I'm not upset. As you can see, it's a joke. <clears throat> it doesn't bother me. Boom. Deleted. Hey, I keep my joy and I keep moving because opinions don't face me whatsoever. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Thank you to all of you who have subscribed. By the way, I did announce the winner in an earlier video today for the 20k subscriber mark and that winner is jacqueline white jacqueline white i replied to one of your comments let you know that you are the winner and that you get to choose a prize so please do email me hopefully you already have your notifications and that you watch the videos regularly because if i don't get a response i just have to keep going and the next winner is going to be at the 20,500 subscriber mark and then at the 21k then 21.5 uh, we're going to go up until I've given away all every 500 subscribers. We have black Glory Day hats to give away, courtesy of Mega Praise Ministries. Thank you for sending them to me for me to give them to the winners. And uh, the other choice of prizes are uh, Passion Translation Bible, compact size or large print. <coughs> uh, any Terry McCalman worship CD. He has many and they are so anointed. You will love them. Wow. Um, that's what I have playing 24 seven in my prayer room, Terry McCalman worship. Uh, it's that powerful. Yes, it is. Uh, especially the first one, especially the first one. And the final choice for prizes, any Kevin Zadai book, study guide, or audio CD. Cause he does have, um, soaking music, which is very, very beautiful and anointed as well. So anyway, that's that. God bless you. I'm going to go. It is late and I still have stuff to do. So um, <clears throat> jump on my Telegram channel. Uh, we are sharing a lot of stuff. And yes, yes, yes. Lastly, I just want to say this. Uh, some of you have asked me and yes, one of you on my on Telegram shared with me a news article with a video of someone of, of a German, uh, was it a legislator or someone in the government talking about how I guess they slip, let slip a date. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. Either way, the Lord allowed it to happen to where someone said everybody is going to remember where they are on September 24th. I kid you not. I kid you not. Literally, that's in that's caught in a video and it was translated by someone in the article, whoever did the article. So you're going to want to join my Telegram channel because we share things like that. We pray for one another. We share uh, other CDs. I do little little clips like today. I took a two minute clip where Kat Kerr was telling everybody how, yes, Queen Elizabeth II is in heaven. And if you if you don't like it, take it up with the Lord. Don't, don't bother us because we are just continuing to run the race. We're not going to get stuck on someone's on what someone thinks or not because in in essence her soul it's done decision is done like wherever a person is it's done focus on your soul 
not on these petty arguments. Amen? God bless you. Have a blessed night whenever you see this or a blessed day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.